team. Josh Hetherington is soaring through the ranks. In a hands-on tour of Fort Carson, he saw equipment and met soldiers he's admired for years. I'm really happy that they let me come out. I don't think Josh has had a smile off his face from the moment we got here. That smile is one his mother, Debbie Stewart, doesn't take for granted now. Team, being a teenager is hard. Let alone being a teenager with cancer and you're not quite sure what's going to come down the track. Um, that, that's not easy and I don't think it's easy for us adults either. Josh was diagnosed with an aglioblastoma multiform brain tumor last summer after suffering severe headaches and eventually seizures. Doctors removed the tumor, but he still undergoes radiation and chemotherapy. It usually happens in 35, 40, 45 year olds. Um, not a very good prognosis, unfortunately. Usually in an adult, it's considered um, terminal. Um, but with kids, because kids aren't supposed to have this kind of tumor, there's kind of a whole different host of potential outcomes for him. The secret to a successful recovery so far optimism. He wants to get up in the morning when these thing, kind of things happen, so it's a big deal. Something possible when your dream of becoming an Army soldier comes true. We jumped all over it. There, there's absolutely no shortage of volunteers. So when Fort Carson found out that Josh had a passion for tanks, they were only happy to show him around. We'll show off what we do, but to be able to show that off to a tremendous young man who uh, has obviously been through a lot himself, um, I, I thought it was really cool to see. I could never do this. I could never give this to him, but other people have really made it possible, which um, it, it's just crazy to know that there's people out there willing to give so much to be able to do that for him. And it's obvious by this smile. I am thankful that you guys have let me into this um, secret area that norm normally not everyone sees. Their efforts to make his dream come true were worth it. Okay, so get this. Josh turned 16 in a few weeks. First of all, that was way cooler than the car I drove when I was 16. <laughs> uh, his parents called today's wish, though, the best president he ever could have received. Yeah. Oh, you know, his yeah. medical condition, it, it's very rare in teenagers, especially in his age. He's actually doing pretty well. There aren't a lot of statistics out there right now mm -hmm. to see what his prognosis would be long term, but so far, everything looks good. Yeah. What well, a day for him, hear. too. And he, I mean, Great smiling the entire time from sunrise to sunset. Yeah, wow. Great yeah. day. Very cool. Thanks, Thanks so much, Greg. Rachel? That's for sure one of the best stories of the week.